Festival of Magic is a throwback to the classic Japanese RPGs of yore. It puts a spin on the formula by fusing harvesting with turn-based combat. Festival of Magic begins with a young treasure hunter named Eamon, featuring a mix of combat story and exploration. Here's a closer look at what to expect. Hi, I'm Ben from Snowcastle, and I'm here to tell you about Earthlock Festival of Magic. The Earthlock saga takes place on... Oh. The Earthlock series takes place on a planet called Umbra. It's a world divided between magic and technology. And for some mysterious reason, it stopped revolving about a thousand years ago. You start off playing Eamon and his somewhat nervous companion, Gnart. And the two of you will soon get caught up in an ancient conflict and you'll have to solve one of the biggest mysteries of the planet. Snowcastle is an independent game company based in Oslo, Norway, but we have developers in Texas, Vancouver, and California as well. Our main goal when we started Snowcastle was to create games with great stories and characters. And Earthlock really is a dream project. In Earthlock, each party member is significant to the course of the story, which makes it really easy for the player to relate to the different cultures and conflicts. To make the Earthlock universe feel really deep and compelling, we have an awesome comic book screenwriter who really knows how to craft a visual narrative. Once Umbra opens up to you and you can start moving around the overworld, Plumpet Island is the safe haven you will return to throughout the game. This is where you will manage your character progression, uh, craft upgrades and harvest ammo. Plumpet Island will be growing right alongside you as you progress through the game, with uh, new characters moving in and shops opening up. In our turn-based combat, your choice of strategy is a mix of ammunition, magic and character setup. You always operate in combat pairs with one warrior and one protector, and different pairing combinations will reveal different spells and attacks. The system is easy to get into, but layered and varied, so you can explore many different character combinations and combat strategies. Uh, it's important that you adapt your strategy to the vast amount of monsters and enemies in the world of Umbra. I grew up obsessing about games like this. I, I think it's pretty much the reason why I wanted to work in the game industry. It's, it's just this feeling of going on this epic journey and getting to know these wonderful characters that makes it just so memorable. Probably the coolest part about my job is coming up with crazy visual ideas that fits within the world. Like this huge monster guy, you're gonna see him in combat. And this thing, like a flying ship that comes into dock, it's gonna be awesome. I've been really loving working on Festival of Magic. I think the, the idea of an RPG where you grow your own ammunition is really a, a, neat, a neat idea. And it's been cool because I got into the project very early, so I, I get to have a lot of input, which is really fun. I'm really lucky. I get to work on some really neat and, and fulfilling projects. Uh, recently, I, I did all the dialogue production for The Walking Dead for Telltale Games. Uh, I did uh, music production on Broken Age for, for Tim Schafer's uh, Double Fine. Uh, and then, of course, there's Festival of Magic, which is pretty frickin' awesome. We already come a long way making the underlying tools and mechanics we need to create the world, the puzzles, and the story for this game. We have a great team in place, and all we need now is your contribution to help us make and shape Earthlock Festival of Magic. So yeah, Bendik has been awesome to work with. I just... <laughs> Come on. I have to do it that way because you're standing Yeah, there. exactly. <laughs> Check out our pledge tiers, choose your level of support, and please tell your friends to do the same. With your help, we'll make a fantastic and truly memorable game. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.